What is up my dudes? Cheap bastard talking to ya. Or should I say the most, the most, the most consistent, consistent channel, channel according, according to video, video upload, upload schedule. schedule. Anyways, I got a quite an interesting video for you today. A few days ago, I built a PC with Intel Core i7-3770S and it magically overclocked itself to 4.35 GHz all-core overclock. It would be somewhat explainable on overclockable C68 or Z77 motherboard, but it happened on a Gigabyte H61 motherboard, which doesn't support any kind of overclock at all. So, I thought it was a great idea to run a few benchmarks on it and share them with you. My test system contains 16GB of DDR3 RAM, RX 584GB and of course i7-3770 itself. My game tests began with Overwatch. On 4K Ultra settings I got an average of 87.6, a minimum of 53.2 and a maximum of 121.3 FPS. The results were so good that I didn't even need to drop the resolution to 1080p. I mean... The next game on the line is Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighbor Will. On 1080p ultra settings I got an average of 100.2, a minimum of 81.8 and a maximum of 126.5 FPS. I am sad that I don't have a regular i7-3770S to compare it to it, but this CPU seems to do really well in gaming. After fighting the zombies, it is time to fight some terrorists. And the best way to fight terrorism is of course CSGO. On 1080p ultra settings I got an average of 153.1, a minimum of 77.8 and a maximum of 285.5 FPS. Maybe the average was on the lower side than I was expecting, but it really depends on the maps I'm playing. It wouldn't be a complete video if it wouldn't feature a GTA 5. So here it is. On 1080p maximum settings possible I got an average of 85.8, a minimum of 71.9 and a maximum of 109.3 FPS. Despite those good FPS scores, take a look at the temperature of this CPU. It is running on a stock Intel cooler, but it doesn't even get up to 70 degrees. Which is pretty amazing, if you ask me. Bad pun alert in 3, 2, 1. Just in cause you missed it. Here's the benchmarks of this game. On ultra settings 1080p I got an average of 90.2, a minimum of 56.8 and a maximum of 137.5 FPS. This time I saw a pretty obvious GPU bottleneck. Anyways, still a very good FPS score. And for the final game of today I've got you some Rise of the Tomb Raider for you. On 4K medium settings I got an average of 82.9, a minimum of 63.7 and a maximum of 108.3 FPS. On 1080p Ultra FPS scores are pretty similar, but the game looks better on 4K so I kept the resolution up. So the benchmarks are over for today. Let me know in the comments if you know what caused the strange overclock because the temperature seemed to be low and overall PC experience was stable. Anyways, I hope you had a great time watching this video and be subscribed for the upcoming one, because it is going to be very exciting to watch. Stay cheap my dudes, cheap bastard out.